darkness and despair continue to hover over our globe, threatening to envelop us in its thick blind. And not even the bright flashes of the news feed on our screens can diffuse the shadows of chaos and confusion we see in our hazy horizon. And all the while the situation keeps on getting crazy, we continue to grapple with the threats of terror, trafficking and trouble all over the world, like the abuse in Libya and Nigeria, the backlash of attacks in Iraq, civil unrest in Syria and the nukes of North Korea. Not to mention the no ceasefire, no peace down in the Middle East, just crisis. As ISIS may have continued their resurgence to take territories piece by piece, these are just a few of the lots just to give you a feel of the fear that continues to fill hearts as aristocrats are amazed. Bureaucrats confused, technocrats are riddled by their own policies. See, we are at a standstill wishing for people with not just the skill but the will to bridge the gap between knowing and doing the right thing. People with influence determined to create ripples of inspiration to stare us away from the doldrums of despair. People like Atlas with the strength of character and moral compass to navigate us away from these troubled waters. But we just can't keep on wishing for these people when we are these people who must begin to look inwards and not outwards for the solution. By embracing the notion of leadership and love, love in leadership. By choosing to embrace the possibility of both, for it is like a double-edged sword few rarely use, but we can if we choose. But if we refuse, it will remain the lead on our ability to lead, to lead the future now. We must advance without even as much as a glance at our past, which is already cast, but to shape our present with empowering mindsets morphing into frames of the kind of future we all picture. Many things to many people in this world one word we will continue to define until the time it's time to live this world as love. But if you asked me to define love, I will say it is a cocktail of emotions derived from deep-seated notions of what we think it should be. We have read and heard them say love is blind so we do not see when we fall headlong into wrong relationships with all kinds of tricks out for cheap thrills and it kills us each time we miss it because it seems like it does not matter how careful you are you could still end up like a fool on the wrong side of love because love is not just about what we think if what we think is not in sync with the Lord who came to this world to show us what this word love is. Love is not just feelings. Feelings fade over time. Love is not just desire. The fire of passion could grow cold in dying embers of time, love is kind, transcending the mind and feelings. Many things to many people in this world, one word we will continue to define until the time it's time to leave this world is love, but love. It's not just about what we think, if what we think is not in sync with the Lord who came to this world to show us what this word love is. <laughs>